Okay, okay, and we're back with Post Malone, I Like You, a happier song with Doja Cat. Um, Post Malone, I know a handful of his songs, you know, like the classic big ones that everyone knows. I have checked out one of his albums, I don't even remember what it's called. Uh, and it's alright, you know, I, I, I like what he does. I do like what he does, I do fuck with Post Malone. But that album, I did not really feel enough. Like, I, I there was like two or three songs off of it that I, you know, liked on Spotify, but... Uh, the rest were, you know, they didn't really connect with me or whatever, but they were still really well made. Uh, so let's check it out. Doja Cat and Post Malone. Go back to the first I think. Can you fit me in your plans? I like you. I do. I do. He does the is that tremolo? Is that what it is? Tremolo? The 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 one of those vocal techniques? Because when he says I do here, you can hear it. It sounds like his voice is like shaken. I hit you in a land. Can you fit me in your plans? I like you. I do. We went up. Yeah, sounds like it. Post Malone is such a wholesome dude. Um, <laughs> you know, puppy. Uh, Post Malone is such a wholesome dude, and I, I like in interviews and stuff. He's like a really sweet, kind guy. But he's talking about, you know, he's not cheat. Well, I mean, I guess you, you're, you're, you're. Would, uh, would that be considered cheating when you're g getting with a girl that already has a boyfriend rather than you being because he's single himself right you're, if you're single you're helping someone cheat but i don't think you're cheating because you are single right but still i feel like it's still just as bad honestly so but like I, that's why i think in like it's a song and i feel like he wouldn't do this irl even though at the end of the day no one knows any of these artists um, but he just seems like a really wholesome dude in interviews and stuff. He seems like a really down to earth kind of guy that wouldn't do this. But... Sad. Chorus is really good. I feel like Doja is gonna kill this. <clears throat> She's probably gonna do the chorus as well herself, right? What'd you say? He loved the way I drip, turn that pool to the beach. He loved the way I drip, turn that pool to a beach. Is it referring to like, you know, you know, you know, you know? Uh, cause like, what other way could you say I drip other than, I don't want to say it. I'm sure, you're pretty sure you guys understand what I mean when I say, you know, like, getting wet, you know, like, you know? But like, what other way could that be interpreted other than sexually? The way I drip? Oh, with, with watches and shit? And you could, but how does that work with turn the pool to a beach? Because like you'd have even more drip, you know, like jewelry. I don't know. I I feel like there's a double entendre there, but maybe I'm just overthinking it. Chaka and Rufus, who is that? 
Is that is that that Journey to the Center of the Earth movie or my trip? Yeah, right? Okay. That's dope. She is definitely she is adding to the chorus as well. I had a feeling because like the chorus is really good, and I feel like Doja would definitely be a great addition to it. Whether she's doing the chorus herself or adding additional uh, vocals to it, it sounds cool. Your heart's so big, but that ass is huge. Hey! Yeah, dope song. I like that melody. Dope outro, dude. That was, I didn't expect that for an outro. A little switch up kind of melody with a like a, a, a what's that flute called? It's it's like panoramic. It's not it's not panoramic, but Panama flute, I think. I don't know. Um super dope. Super dope. Um how I feel about this one though, I feel like the chorus was the key point. Doja did a great job, Post Malone did a great job as well. But that chorus was like the main I mean, the chorus is always like the main focal point. I feel like in every song, you really got to have a good chorus. But in this one, it was that was like the best part, uh, especially when Doja came in on the chorus as well at the ending. Uh, plus the little bridge uh, outro that Post Malone did was pretty cool too. Um, <laughs> your heart is huge and your ass, or your heart is big, but your ass is huge or some shit. That's funny. Uh, yeah, dope track, dope track. Do I think it's better than Vegas? No, uh, but it's definitely a good track. So I will give it a pass. Um, what will I rate this one? Mm, I'll give it an 8.8. .8. Strong 8.8. .8. Dope track.